Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pamiria back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I wanted to have a little discussion to give you guys my opinions on a topic that I've been thinking about for a while now. It's something that comes up on streams and comments every once in a while. And the question really is whether or not it's time for Dokkan to introduce a brand new rarity to the game. Something that is above the current rarities, even above LR potentially. Um, and a related question is whether or not there are too many LRs, like whether or not the LR rarity has become too saturated. And I know this is a topic that's going to be possibly a little controversial, maybe a little bit polarizing for a lot of people because I know quite a few people are going to disagree, but also there's going to be a good amount of people that agree with me as well. So uh, either way, hope you guys don't get too upset, whichever side you fall on because this video really is just the purpose of discussion about ways we can make this game more interesting, more uh, fun for everybody. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, as far as the question goes, I'll give you guys my opinion right now. And I believe that the LR rarity definitely has become way too saturated, just way too, the pool has become way too large in the recent past, like recent year, year and a half. And um, it might be time it might be time to introduce a new rarity. Now there's a lot of names being thrown out there. Uh, I haven't really personally settled on a name I like, but I've heard people say like, um, godly rare, like GR or GDR, whatever you want to say, um, or possibly uh, epic rare, like ER or something else. But I'm really open to anything right now. It doesn't really matter as long as it's different, right? And the reason that I feel like it's time, like the time has come for us to introduce a new rarity is because of this. Check this out. Okay, so I'm gonna actually sort by, no, that's that's fine. Let's sort by LRs though. We're on the JP version, by the way, and this is the Dokkan Battle Optimizer program. A really, really good program for team building and stuff like that. Uh, go check it out, guys. I'll put a link in my description. But um, this is the current pool of LRs on JP right now. And if you do the counting or just look at the top right corner here, there are a total of 45 now. 45 LRs in this game. That is a lot. That is a lot. By comparison, if you just sort by, uh, let's see, just by URs, there are 373 URs in this game, right? But you have to take into account that about 38 of them are just the TUR forms of units that will eventually awaken into an LR. Of course, we're not taking into account things like Battlefield LRs or Super Battle Road LRs, ones that don't have TUR forms, but even not accounting for those, that is still over 10% of the current UR pool in this game that will eventually become LRs. And if you ask me, that is pretty damn significant. Like, that is a lot of units out of the total URs that become LRs, right? And just to reminisce a little bit, you know, walk down memory lane, I'm gonna make myself sound like a total old man here, but that's okay. Back in the day, right, when LRs were first introduced, there were only a couple, right? And like, there was the original five, there were a couple of free-to-play ones, um, and that was it. And back then, it was really hard to pull an LR, mainly because um, well, one thing is they didn't include them in banners nearly as often, but also because there were so few of them, right? So your chances of actually pulling one was much lower. And back then you had to like spend thousands and thousands of stones just try to try to pull like one LR Gohan or something. And when you pulled it, you felt so good, especially if you were like one of those lucky people that I hate, <laughs> I'm kidding, um, that like pulled an LR Gohan or an LR Broly in like their first multi-second multi. You felt like a god, man. You felt like you were blessed. Like, that was legit hype. And don't get me wrong, you know what? These days, I still love pulling LRs. I still love the feeling, man. I still get hyped, for sure, 100%. But it's not quite the same. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it doesn't feel exactly the same as it used to back then. I remember one of my earlier videos, um, and this was even like a little bit later when like more LRs were being introduced, but I pulled LR Gohan. No, no, no. Uh, well, yeah, LR Gohan. But there was also a video where I accidentally, well, accidentally, I was really just going for Kai's, but there was the uh, physical type banner, and I pulled LR Trunks on, I think, my second multi. And the way I reacted to that, 
was just like I lost my mind, man. And it was 100% unfiltered, completely real, because I, it was it was just, it was harder back then, man, to pull LRs, right? So um, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is just that it, it's not quite the same thing anymore, quite the same feeling of pulling LRs. And of course, that varies for different people depending on if you're a free-to-play player or a pay-to-play player. Um, how long you've been playing the game for, and you know all those factors. I recognize that if you're a newer player, then obviously it's going to be much more exciting to pull an LR. And if you're a free-to-play player, obviously much more exciting because you just don't have as many opportunities to try to summon for LRs, right? So I recognize all of that. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I'm not trying to say that you know they should stop releasing as many LRs. I mean, here's the thing: the resolution to this issue, or not really an issue, just like this topic, I guess, would be to either stop releasing so many LRs, right? Just like, you know, release less LRs over a longer period of time, or release new rarity. And I really don't think they should stop releasing LRs at the current rate. I think it's fine. I love seeing new LRs, new animations, um, new characters becoming LRs, and, uh, you know, just I, the whole like the whole hype train around that man like I just love all of it making the videos um, getting excited with you guys and uh, seeing the animations it's a great time I'm totally okay with that keep doing that Bandai but I think it's also time to release a new rarity above that where when you do pull this new card of a new rarity um, it's still that, that same feeling that was invoked back in the day I don't really think it's even necessary to make them much harder to pull or give them much lower rates than your average LR. In fact, if it were up to me, I would give them the exact same rates as a new summonable LR today. But just for the simple fact that there's a lot less of them and it's a new rarity would make them much more desirable and much more exciting and hype to pull for your average Dokkan player. And of course, if they are going to be considered a higher rarity than LRs are right now, then we would expect a higher, I guess, overall power level or more utility, but it doesn't even have to be that significant of a difference because if you think about it, there are a lot of URs or quite a few new URs these days that are close to, if not on par with the damage and also the utility of some LRs out there. So I think this is definitely a good way to do it. I think it's definitely doable for Bandai, but of course, I'm not saying that this is necessarily the right way to do it, but this is just my opinion, something I've been thinking about for a while and something I'm still thinking about, so of course my ideas could change over time. But um, of course, this video, like I said, is just kind of a discussion video, kind of an opinion piece, so just take it that way, don't take it too seriously. Um, oh, how could I forget? Yo, we have 45 LRs in the game right now, right? But with the introduction or the, the announcement of the upcoming 300 million downloads LRs, that's going to be two more with the new LR Gohan and LR Cell. And we're also getting a new uh, Super Battle Road LR in the LR Goku and Bulma, so that's 48 now. And I have a very strong suspicion, it's very likely, we're going to be getting another LR for the second part of the 300 million downloads celebration, another summonable LR, so that's 49. And I'm sure we're going to get another, you know, maybe friend summon LR at some point or another uh, battlefield LR in a couple months. So that's 50. So, you know, the number is going to be increasing over time. Eventually, we're going to have 60 LRs. Eventually, we're going to have 100 LRs. So I feel like around this time where the pool is becoming pretty damn saturated and, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest LRs are becoming quite a bit more... Or at least, I mean, it hasn't really gone there yet, but I feel like Dokkan Fest LRs, we're starting to see the trend of like them becoming more common. I mean, I was fully expecting this new Gohan and new Cell to be uh, URs, to be TURs, but as it turns out, they're LRs, which I'm okay with, they look awesome. I, I'm going for them, trust me guys, I'm dropping a lot of money, a lot of stones, so they're getting me, but um, <laughs> I just feel like, you know, this pool is definitely a little bit big. Um, keep keep increasing the pool, that's okay, but let's start something new as well. Something that is in the same vein as what the LRs were a couple years ago, right? When they were first introduced and, um, you know, start building that side up as well. And eventually, you know, that new rarity, just like LRs have become today, will become saturated as well. And then we'll have to introduce maybe a new rarity after that or something, who knows? 
Um, but this is just kind of the way that these gacha games work, right? I realized that. Gacha games, there's power creep, um, you know, something that's super rare, super good one day will eventually become outdated and uh, we need to do something something new, right? Like constant improvement, constant uh, evolution, I guess, which is kind of makes sense as well if you think about it as far as the property that this game is based off with Dragon Ball being about constant improvement, right? Um, constantly, you know, increasing or your power, changing forms, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, guys. I just kind of noticed recently that the LR pool, the number of LR units in this game, have become pretty, has become pretty large, become pretty significant. And as far as a new rarity goes, I don't know what it would be called. I don't know what uh, would be super special about it, except for the name, I guess. But uh, that's kind of up to Bandai, right? That's kind of their job to make it interesting and make us want it. So uh, I'm interested to see what they eventually do. And I'm not saying this is going to happen anytime soon. I'm not saying that's going to happen within the next maybe six months to a year. But I feel like eventually it's going to happen. Eventually Bandai is going to be introducing some kind of new rarity that everybody's going to want. And I just hope that it's not going to be too hard to acquire. You know, I don't want... Like I said, I don't want it to be super hard to get, I just want it to be different and um, pretty much it would be, it'd be nice if it's like around the same difficulty to, to acquire as like the current LRs are, but just, you know, harder in a sense just because there's less of them in the game, right? Um, and I do want to hear your opinions, guys. Let me know what you think about everything that I talked about in this video. I think with things like this, with topics like this, it's very important to hear different viewpoints. So if you guys have different opinions or want to add to what I said in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments down below so I can read them and everybody else can read them too. Oh, and if you also have any great ideas as far as names go for this new rarity, let us know in the comments too because like I said, I've heard of quite a few good ones like Godly or Epic or Heroic and so on and so forth, but nothing that has really caught my attention or that I have my heart set on right now, so I would love to hear your suggestions about that too. And that's all I gotta say guys, all I really wanted to talk about, like I said, don't take this video too seriously, it's just my opinion, just a little uh, discussion that I wanted to have, and hopefully we can start some kind of conversation and come up with some great ideas that maybe a Bandai spy passing by in the comments can uh, take over to the executives and make it happen. Who knows? Anything is possible, right? So. That's all guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. That's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.